Hi guys, welcome to this Blender 2.8 tutorial. And for today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how you can reduce some of the clutter in the 3D viewport. When I say clutter, I mean things that you don't necessarily need to see all the time. So things like the Blender grid, the name of your object, etc. So what we can do is we can come up to the top corner of the 3D viewport and go to the viewport overlays menu. Now you'll have plenty of these options here that are mainly ticked and you can begin unticking them and deciding exactly what it is you want to see in your viewport. So for example, we've got the floor here. We can get rid of that very easily. We can also get rid of the axes lines, so the X and the Y. Or you could go reverse and you could even add the Z line. And you can also hide things like the text info that's located in the top corner here. So you can untick that box and you'll no longer see the name of the object or the view that you are in in the 3D viewport. You can also hide your 3D cursor and also you can hide annotations. So if you made an annotation in the 3D viewport, for example, so I'm just doing super quick annotation of, say, if I wanted to create maybe a box of some kind, a cardboard box, it doesn't really matter. What I can do here is I can untick this box whenever I don't want to see my annotation. So I can hide any annotations that I've made by ticking here. You can also hide things related to the objects, such as the selected outline and the object's origin. Now, one thing I do recommend is I recommend always keeping the selected outline on because you're always going to want to know what object is currently selected regardless of if you are a pro or a beginner. So that's how you can reduce any unwanted clutter in your viewport. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next Bailey Design tutorial.